Hey guys, it's Lauren here. Thanks for popping into my channel and checking out my latest layout for the Hip Kit Club. I was challenged to participate in Mixed Media Monday and that's where we get to use our mixed media products on a layout and really highlight that in a certain way. I was also challenged to use incorporate a cut file onto my layout. So I have this really oversized, way oversized cut file that says start fresh and that was from the January free subscriber printables, or well, cut files, sorry. And I'm going to have a go at using that. Now, I don't usually have cut files this large and I thought this will be a fun challenge for me. And as you will see, what will end this layout will end up being is a is a layout that's, I think, really not not a Lauren style. But I have to say I had a lot of fun doing it. Playing with mixed media products is always just brings me so much joy. I remember a time when it was really nerve-wracking, but uh, but now I, I tend to have a play and I know that not every layout needs to be absolutely perfect and the way you, you know, you know, you need to step outside your comfort zone. I'm really glad I did. And I know that um, my mother and father, who this is about a photo of them starting their new adventure, um, will absolutely love this. I will love this layout. So I'm just prepping my cardstock here. At this time, I wasn't really sure about what mixed media I was going to pop on. So I decided to cover the entire page with clear gesso. Now, the paper that I'm using here is the Basil Marshmallow. So it's a heavier weight cardstock that I knew can sort of cope with some mixed media. And then I picked out three little pots of Shimmers paints, well, pro Shimmers products from um, the past colour kits. I didn't get the colour kit in the March subscription, so I've pulled back into my stash and I've picked out the Shimmers in colour Sunflower, the Cremise in Good Old Summertime and the Cremise in Ride the Tide. And those are the three colours that I'm using to create this mixed media fun background. So here I am, I'm just applying water to my product and water to my page to help shift and move around. I also did some, as you can see there, you're wondering what I'm doing, but I did some extra big squeezes in that little jar, really soaked up the liquid in my paintbrush and just sort of squeezed the paintbrush and these big droplets sort of came down. Now, I didn't want the colours to blend. I wanted a bit of a rainbow effect on the base of this page, um, even though it's only three colours. But I just wanted those colours to be set apart from each other. So the way of achieving that is to dry off between each of the levels, uh, each of the layers of colour. So as you can see, I've just dried that off. And now that when I'm applying that blue colour, Ride the Tide, it's not blending a lot into the pink. It's sort of sitting apart from it. And that's really what I wanted to ch achieve. I really, I didn't want to make a big brown or purple mess there. I just wanted the colours to really set apart. I love those three colours together. And so I really, I just really wanted those distinct colours to be, um, be shining through behind that really large cut file. I love, by adding extra water, I love how the, the, the background is, you know, it looks like you're up in the clouds or it sort of, you know, it, it gives that real watercolour effect. It looks like I've drowned my page in water where in fact, as you can see, there's not much warping going on on my page and, it, and it's sitting really quite fine. So I'm just going to finish off adding some of that yellow in the shimmers. There you go. I've just finished that there. The shimmers is beautiful because it's got that sparkle in it. And I know it's difficult to see on camera, but once your layout was, my layout was finished, all that little, that yellow, what's that color called? The sunflower color was sparkling through the background there. And it was just so pretty. So I just, I just love that yellow shimmers. So I'd done some fussy cutting. I had the um, I had that beautiful floral piece from the Sunny Days collection, and I just fussy cut it because those flowers really 
reminded me of mum. She loves flowers. She loves her garden. And I thought, I really need to pretty this up because I know this home that's undergoing lots of renovations at the moment, this new adventure that they're on, this this starting fresh, is um, will be filled with beautiful flowers that, that she loves and adores. So I just wanted to sort of give that floral effect on the background and that beautiful sunny day's flower you know, I've used it on a um, on my past layer, like the one I, if you check on my channel, I used them there and I just fell in love with them. So I had another sheet, so I'm going to, I used that there and just did some fussy cutting and I foam mounted that start fresh. Um, so it's raised off, so it gives me a little bit of movement under there. The other thing I did with that cut file is I got a gold pen. Um, I, it's a Faber-Castell one and I just went around it with a border um, that it, that took me a little while usually I'm very confident with my strokes when bordering my cut files that's something that I do every now and then but I must have had the shakes or something so it took me a little while just to get those clean lines and if you look closely you know I've definitely made lots of mistakes but the beautiful thing is from a distance and when you're looking at this whole layout which is coming together as a very full layout like I'm taking up the entire page uh you tend not to you tend not to see the little bumps and and the and the mistakes that are in there so I'm just using some wet glue to adhere those flowers just I just want to not overthink it I just want to stick and put glue on and stick, put glue on and stick, don't, don't think about it, I, as you can see, usually I place out before, making sure that everything's where I want it to be, but this layout, I just didn't want to do it, I just wanted florals where I felt florals need to be, I wanted mixed media where I wanted mixed media to be, I just, I was just going for it, and although it's not really my kind of, like, you probably think this is not really a Lauren style layout, it's very full, there's not much white space left, it's, I am actually think it's really pretty and really, really fun and, um, and I have really challenged myself with that extra large cut file there, which I may have another go at in the next few weeks of, you know, really pulling in a big cut file and utilising it because it's kind of coming out okay. What do you guys think? Do you think this layout's looking looking fine do you ever like have you ever worked with up supersizing a cut file like this or even if you supersize a photo and not have as much space around your layout to do the pretty stuff have you ever tried that if you haven't I want to challenge you today to supersize something on your layout and see where it kind of takes you as you can see it's sort of taken me a bit out of my comfort zone and if you know I really want to see if you can you know, be challenged to supersize something, but you make sure that you let me know. If you tag me on social media, um, on Facebook or on Instagram or something where you share that challenge, I would love to see it. I, re I really would. Um, so let me know in the comments below if, um, if you think this is working out and if you think, yeah, I'm going to take on Lauren's supersizing challenge. <laughs> So I'm just finishing off now with some of these beautiful gems that came in the March kit. They are so super sparkly and perfectly matched that yellow that was in the center of those flowers. So it just prettied up that page a little bit more and it helped that dream cut file, that little die cut there that was really shiny and sparkly. It helped balance that out a little bit as well there. At this point I was sort of thinking, I think it's going this layer's going way off the page. So I thought I would get this gorgeous washi tape, once again super sparkly, and border my page and see if that sort of brought the layout back in a little. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just felt like this layout was just like never going to end and it was going off the page and I thought maybe a border top and bottom would just sort of frame it and just give that effect of, you know, here I am, I'm contained even though I'm wild and crazy. <laughs> But yeah, so I really like that gold border and also it helps those little gems and that dream as well sort of balance out that super shiny. So I hope you like the layout. I hope it's inspired you to go supersize 
And yeah, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you like this crazy layout. Um, give me a like and share it with your friends if you think it's something that inspires you and could inspire others. And I'll be back again really soon with a new layout. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Thank you.